So Tiger Swan, you know that fun group, the good, uh, the, the, the private security company that treated the Standing Rock protesters like terrorists. Well, that fun organization was banned from uh, opening up, from operating in the state of Louisiana. So a Tiger Swan employee quietly registered a new business. <laughs> after the state denied them uh, a license to operate. Well, this is, well, the, I, I find it hard to believe that the, the oil people are some of the most ethical, solid members of society that we could have out there. <laughs> oh boy, this is an article in The Intercept written by uh, Aileen Brown and Will Parrish. And it's basically oil and water. There's like a 13 part series on The Intercept about this, this they keep doing on this. Uh, they keep covering this, which is good. Good for them. They're covering this subject. So um, here's kind of, I'll give you <laughs> what's been going on there. Um, the uh, So Tiger, here's what Tiger Swan has been wanting to do. They, uh, they are hired by Energy Transfer Partners, and they hit a roadblock block last July in its efforts to provide intelligence and security services in Louisiana. The Louisiana State Board of private security examiners determined that Tiger Swan was unfit to obtain a license to work in the state based on a lawsuit it is facing for unlicensed security operations in North Dakota. Oh boy, when we were in the Middle East, we didn't have to face all this regulation. We could just go around and kill people and we didn't have, there was nothing. We didn't even have rules of engagement like the United States military. We could do whatever the fuck we want. And then we get to North Dakota and all these goddamn hippies were telling us we can't fucking nightstick and kill them. Um, so Louisiana's Bayou Bridge Pipeline, which is a, an energy transfer um, partners project, which they want Tiger Swan to work on. The Bayou Bridge is a 163 mile oil pipeline that represents the tail end of a massive system that starts in North Dakota's back and fracking region. The system's more than no section is the Dakota Access Pipeline which was completed about a year ago and faced a huge indigenous-led opposition movement. Um, Tiger Swan, uh, when they got denied the license application, a person named Lisa Smith rented office space in Lafayette, Louisiana. She registered a new company, LTSA, with the Secretary of State's office and submitted an application for license with the Private Security Board. During the board's background check process, its investigator uncovered a detail mysteriously missing from Smith's resume. She worked for Tiger Swan. You know how autocorrect, you know what I mean? She probably typed in Tiger Swan and it was like, you know, Tiger Balm. And they're like, oh, she worked for the Tiger Balm company. It happens, I mean, it happens to me. I get it, I get it, just the computers. I totally get it, Lisa. Sounds like a good Christian white lady. Um, she worked for Tiger, uh, although a cached version of Smith's old LinkedIn page showed she once listed Tiger Swan in her profile. She had removed the firm's name from her page. Probably the computer again. Um, they deposed her in, separatary, in, in, secret, in September, this, the, the uh, government board in Louisiana. In the deposition, which the Center for Constitutional Rights obtained via public information request, Security Board Attorney Adrian Acoin asked Smith, what is your present employment? I work for Tiger Swan, Smith said. The board denied Smith's license application, stating that she had willfully, knowingly, and in the board's estimation, intentionally engaged in material omission of fact with respect to her employed history. The board's executive director, Fabian Blash, told The Intercept, it appeared that Lisa Smith's failure to include the information about Tiger Swan in her application was a deliberate attempt to keep us from drawing a nexus between the two and that the application was being sought at the time uh, it could have been, if issued, used to circumvent the denial of the Tiger Swan license. Of course it was. They got the... Um, It's unbelievable. Like, look what look how they do this. Look what they do. Lisa Smith. I'm sure she's got a nice, dignified, elegant. Why is it? Why is it so? She's way more of a criminal than a guy running around with a cell phone. Why isn't this woman gunned down by the cops? 
You know what I mean? She's awful. <laughs> Unbelievable. When you see a, a, a person of any ethnicity working for an awful corporation, you should be way more leery of them than like a black man walking down the streets because they can do way more damage to you and your life in this country <laughs> than just any street criminal of any ethnicity. The fucking assholes. Um, Cheryl Foytlin, a member of the Indigenous Women's Advisory Council for the Anti-Bayou Bridge, uh, Liu S. La Vie, Water is Life Camp, told The Intercept, I think it's no surprise that Tiger Swan is an unethical company. <laughs> yeah, they're hired mercenaries that will do anything for a buck. Um, it's, and she said, I'm really proud of the board, honestly, for following the law and not allowing a company like Tiger Swan to take root in Louisiana communities. Um, even so, Foytland says she's felt the presence of pi private security as her group has ramped up its blockades and occupations of pipeline construction sites. She's noticed people filming her as they drive by in trucks, helicopters over protest actions, and out-of-place men in khaki pants at the Piggly Wiggly grocery store in her working-class neighborhood. Wow. So, this is how they do business. This is why we need to resist and block them at every turn. And at least it's good to see a governmental agency hasn't been bought and paid out and let, you know, actually did their jobs and denied a corporation access to their state. This is what they do and they have, they have an endless supply of money. They're a private security company. So if you're a protester, they're going to treat you like some bomb yielding jihadist because you want drinkable water for you and your family. You're on the same, you're on the same page in their, in their playbook as someone that's willing to blow themselves up for a religious cause. Seems reasonable, right? Thank you Intercept for writing this article. Articles like this make me still have a little bit of faith for The Intercept. A great way to support this show is go to the Patreon link below because they do not want me talking about stories like this. YouTube is throttling my numbers and throttling my subscriptions to say, oh, your, sh your channel's not doing as well as it used to, which is complete bullshit. So I need your support on the Patreon level. Thank you. And also like and subscribe to these videos and share them out in the world that gets information like this out to people who need it. Put it on your social media so your friends and family in your community get aware of stories like this that they might not have been otherwise. Thank you.